So y'all, it is this picture right here that got the internet talking. Janelle, Michelle, and Money, y'all, y'all in the pool together, seeming to be having a great time and a great conversation. Now, if you didn't know this, they both share the same baby father. But what got people tripping is one. Janelle just recently got exposed for throwing Money, y'all, y'all under the bus. And lastly, the two are seen swimming around Janelle's boyfriend, Devin. Now, I for one don't see anything wrong with this because the media tried to make it seem as if young boy baby mothers had some type of animosity towards one another. So whether it's cordial conversation or a friendship, it's all right with me. Y'all just let me know what y'all think. Kings and queens, money bag, your name has been in the air for a while now. In fact, all this week. First bag was trending on Twitter because of a couple of tweets he posted. Then a rapper called him a thief. According to rapper Pound Moneybag, yo stole his clothing design. And now this. Cool excited. My past trip. So, I'm saying, I'm trying to get y'all there to the house. Yeah. So basically from his Instagram live, Juicy is babysitting all of Money Bag Yo Kids, not including Bag last two kids. Juicy then proceeded to say that they daddy want to rotate. Bag son act is daddy at the house. That is when the Instagram live got muted. Supporters are upset for two reasons. One, Ari is out on vacation. And two, they do not like the fact that Juicy is cooking Money Bag Yo food. They believe that it is inappropriate for him to be at his baby mother house spending time with his kids while his girlfriend Ari is away on vacation vacation and to make matters worse despite it not being juicy live they are trying to say that she purposely did that now y'all let me know what y'all think are supporters overreacting or could they be on to something six nine will be in north carolina on the 22nd of july and the rapper murden he is not here for it i'll see what's going on in raleigh i got a hundred up for anything that happened to a famous rap a hundred and i guarantee you that hundred will touch your bank account or in your hand what I said, that rap better not be safe in North Carolina. I said what the fuck I said. So check this out and do the math with me. Just this year, it was reported that a man killed another individual for $100. So what length would the right person go to get $100,000? So moving forward, we got Azalea Banks in the office. And she had a few things to say about Nicki Minaj and Meg. Someone by the name of Liz tweeted, kind of weird that Azalea Banks could have been a contemporary of Nicki Minaj or Meg Thee Stallion, but instead just decided to be totally unhinged. In response, Azalea says that Nicki Minaj is fat and tolerable with a Percocet addiction. She continues, Barb's keep forgetting Nicki is blacklisted for mocking the Vatican on live broadcast TV. Ken Ehrlich concert her a long time ago. Azalea has a fucked up sense of humor, but no history of a poor abuse and no history of caping for snitches and pedophiles. Azalea Banks is exponentially more redeemable than Nicki Minaj. I would never be made the stallion because I would never lie about getting shot in the foot to gain public sympathy. She capitalized on the protect black woman narrative. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this. And lastly, we got a quick update on Pooh Shiesty. Your order to stay away from the victim whose initials are F, D, no contact with this victim, either directly, indirectly, in person, in writing, by telephone, or through third parties. And you must stay 500 feet away from his home, school, and place of employment at all times. The magistrate judge set a bond of $10,000 on his charge for aggravated battery with a firearm involving shots at the KOD nightclub in Miami. In setting the bond, the magistrate judge said, however, that the prior charges from back in October are a different case and that the judge in that case will have the opportunity to review whether or not to revoke the bond in that prior case. So Pooh's not out of the woods yet. 